Hi everyone, it is Aya James. With hours of researching and testing, plus 1.1.1 has finally come. I made this tier S lightning conjuration build that one shot elites that are 30 levels higher, take down bosses that are 35 levels higher in 28 seconds, and zero cooldown ultimate that the out is 10 seconds uptime and just 10 seconds on cooldown. This build is fast and has infinite mana that speed farms dungeons in 3 minutes, auto aim that you just cast skills, both chain lightning and conjurations do their heavy liftings, and auto crush enemies in 360 degrees for you, and tanky that you can face tank enemies 20 levels higher easily. I will cover the infinite mana, skills, gears, and paragon board one by one, so let's begin. First, 1.1.1 made it super easy to achieve infinite mana for chain lightning build. The recharging aspect has been updated to gain mana each time chain lightning bounces, instead of bounces off you. From my testing, even with the lowest 1.5 value on recharging, as long as I have 35% base crit chance and 10% mana cost reduction, I'm able to cast Chain Lightning freely. I will cover the specific skills and gear in the following sections, but you can start using this build right after entering World Tier 4, like level 65 or even earlier. One extra note, there is a need to move around to collect the crackling energy on the ground, because each of them gives 12 mana, so make sure you spend time exercising your running skills to get infinite mana. For skills, this build doesn't use any basic skill, so put 2 points in whatever skill you like. Then put 5 ranks to chain lightning as it is one of the main DPS skills in the build, and make sure to use destructive chain lightning to get enough crackling energy for infinite mana. Don't use great chain lightning. And we are running only one defensive skill, teleport, in the build. This build has pretty good survivability that doesn't need 3 defensive skills because the build has massive crowd control skills and high armor. With the Raymond of the Infinite unique, Teleport becomes Frost Nova that crowd control everything around. If you don't have the unique yet, check the pin comment for a Frost Nova variant and Elemental Attunement to get another Teleport every 10 seconds. Next, 5 ranks to Hydra as it is another main DPS of the build. Make sure to take the Invoked Hydra as it is a direct 35% damage boost if you have 35% crit chance and 300% crit damage. While the Summoned Hydra is just a 2% damage boost each second. Then Precision Magic for 15% Lucky Hit chance. Ice Blades for Vulnerable State and Cooldown Reductions. And Ice Blades in Enchantment to synergize with all cooldown skills like instant 4 ice blades at the beginning of a boss fight. What a beautiful start. This is also why the build has 0 cooldown ultimate. And then lighting spear for stable stun. Conjuration mastery for insane damage boost. On average, this build has 8 conjurations at the same time, so it is a 48% global damage boost. Then mana shield for extra 21% damage reduction and protection for 100% barrier uptime. Next, 2 ranks to ball lightning as it is the main AoE DPS. We use it in the enchantment only since this build focuses on crit chance. A single teleport can sometimes trigger 3 static ball lightnings for insane AoE damage. It also generates crackling energy for infinite mana and Static Discharge for further crackling energy, and Invigorating Conduit to enable all crackling energy to generate 12 mana, which is the main source for infinite mana. Finally, we add points to the ultimate on Stable Currents, and Coursing Currents for more crit chance, Electrocution for 15% damage reduction, and overflowing energy to enable crackling energy to reduce skills cooldowns. You can find all gear stats, priority, and aspects in the pinned comment. I will cover the keys in the video here. First, always get percent total armor on helm. If you find one that has ranks of Hydra, it is even better. 
use Raymond for the chest armor to enhance teleport to be group crowd control and get high crit chance on gloves and get lucky hit to slow because this build is very good at triggering lucky hit. It crowd controls enemies to trigger the 25% damage reduction from the ever living aspect more easily and stagger balls really fast for further DPS. Next, get 4 defensive stats on pants. Use Asus Heirloom for a constant 10 plus percent crit chance boost. And after using the evade, you will be 30 plus percent crit chance boost. If you don't have the Asus Heirloom, use the fortune aspect for lucky hit chance and get movement speed and mana cost reduction first for stats. If you are running the Frost Nova variant, get plus Frost Nova stat. For main weapon, make sure you have high item power, intelligence, and vulnerable damage. And make sure you have mana cost reduction and crit chance on offhand. And high crit chance, the revenge heart for one ring. High crit chance, the Tarasha heart for the other ring. And finally, movement speed, percent total armor, and disobedient at the amulet with the bubble heart. Gear stats play an extremely important role in the end game. Check this video for further survivability tips if you don't find it easy to face tank enemies. For Paragon board, start with the destruction glyph in the first board, then get the enchantment board and get the enchantment master as soon as possible to enhance both Ice Blades and Ball Lightning enchantments. Then get the Rare Nodes on the path to further improve non-physical damage and use the Elementalist Glyph. Since the build deals all three elemental damage, then move up to the Frigid Fate Board for the Control Glyph and further vulnerable damage nodes. Then move right to the Static Surge Board and use the Exploit Glyph. Afterwards, it will be the Crackling Energy Board and the Burning Board. While I will be using the same glyphs, there will also be a few glyph position changes. Check the build link in the pinned comment for how it looks like at level 100 and update your glyph position as you level up. This build is pretty flexible in terms of combat style where you can fight enemies both melee and ranged. On top of that, I have two tips that may help you further enjoy the build. First, cast two Hydras before the fight, teleport then evade right after teleport, cast the other two Conjurations, and spam Chain Lightning. In this way, all Conjurations and Chain Lightning will benefit from the 30 plus percent crit chance buff from Asus Heirloom. Second, usually there will be many static ball lightnings on the ground, you can teleport to pull enemies into them, triggering massive damage. And that's all. I named the build Thor because it uses the two most powerful lightning skills, the chain lightning and the ball lightning. I feel I am a lightning god in the game through the build and hope you have fun in experiencing it too. If you like the video, please consider sharing and subscribing for more Mimax and fun sorcerer builds. Thank you for watching and see you next time.